Hey friends, today we are reviewing the Acer Chromebook Spin 714 with an Intel Core i7 13th generation processor. This Chrome OS based laptop promises to be fast, versatile, and convenient. But does it live up to expectations? Let's find out. The body is made out of aluminum and it feels solid. It's certified to the MILSTD A10H standard. I don't know what the f and who the f created that name, but it means that body should handle minor bombs and shocks. This convertible laptop screen falls to 360 degrees, transforming it into a tablet, a handy feature especially for presentations or drawing. The build quality is good with sturdy hinges, but at nearly 1.5 kilograms, which is about three pounds, the weight is noticeable, especially if you're used to lightweight Ultrabooks. Now let's talk about performance. At the heart of the laptop is the Intel Core i7 1355U series processor, an energy efficient chip designed for multitasking. Paired with a 16 gig of RAM, the laptop easily handles a browser with a dozen of taps, high resolution streaming, and apps from the Google Play Store. It's not suitable for gaming or heavy graphic design. The integrated Intel Art graphics is better suited for multimedia consumption and basing image editing. It's worth nothing that Acer offers different configurations of this laptop with varying specs and prices. Be sure to check the technical details before purchasing. One of the standout feature is Chrome OS. It boots quickly, offers high security and syncs seamlessly with the Google accounts. However, keep in mind that it's not a full flag Windows or Mac OS system. If you use professional software like Adobe Premiere, you'll face limitations, but for web apps, office work, and studying, it's an excellent choice. Chrome OS supports Android apps, so you can install messengers, programs, or games directly from Google Play. Display and audio. My model has a 14 inch touchscreen display with resolution of 2560 by 1600 and a 60 Hertz refresh rate. Lower tier models come with 1920 by 1080 screen. The display supports USI stylus, making it great for note taking and drawing. The maximum brightness is around 350 nits, which is decent and the screen covers 100% of sRGB color gamma. I'm quite satisfied with the colors and quality. The speakers now located on either side of the keyboard perform adequately for video calls or movies, but lack of depth. The webcam offers good recording quality, as does the microphone. The camera now features a privacy shutter, preventing hackers from spying on you. The Acer Chromebook Spin 714 comes with a modest but acceptable selection of ports. Two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one USB-A port, HDMI, a combo audio jack for headphones and microphones. It also includes a built-in stylus, which is useful for general tasks and creative work. Personally, I find the stylus quite enjoyable to use. However, based on Acer's official website, not all configurations include the stylus, so double check before purchasing. Additionally, the laptop features a fingerprint scanner for unlocking. It works quickly and reliably. I had no issues whatsoever. Battery life. The manufacturer claims up to 10 hours of battery life. In reality, with standard usage like video streaming and browsing, it lasts about eight to nine hours. Heavy tasks reduce the battery life to around five to six hours. The keyboard is comfortable with a soft key travel and backlighting. The touchpad is a larger compared to previous models. It's simply functional and well built. However, the area around the keyboard flexes slightly under pressure, though this doesn't affect usability. And in conclusion, the Acer Chromebook Spin 714 is a balanced laptop for work, study, and 
everyday task. It won't replace a full flag gaming or professional laptop, but for users needing a fast, user-friendly system for the web apps, it's a solid option. The laptop's versatility is appealing, but there are drawbacks such as Chrome OS limitations. When choosing it, it's essential to understand your specific needs. Let me know what you think, share your thoughts. So now, let's take this baby apart to see what we can replace and upgrade. So stay tuned, let's go. As always, we will begin by working on the bottom side of the laptop and carefully removing all screws. There are a total of nine standard screws which can be removed using a regular Phillips screwdriver. Once the bottom cover is detached, we get a clear view of the laptop's internal components. The battery is simple to remove, but before replacing or upgrading any parts, always disconnect the battery connector from the motherboard to prevent potential damage. The battery itself is secured with clips, so no screws needed to be removed. The Wi-Fi card is integrated into the motherboard, meaning if it fails, replacement could be costly. However, the good news is that SSD is replaceable and can be upgraded easily by removing a single screw. The touchpad is also replaceable. All ports are directly connected to the motherboard, so if any of them fail, repairs could be expensive. If you plan to replace the heatsink and cooling fan, be sure to reapply thermal paste for optimal performance. Additionally, the RAM is soldered onto the motherboard, so always verify the installed memory capacity before purchasing, as it's not upgradable. Overall, I'm quite impressed with some of the upgrade options available in this laptop, especially compared to many other Chromebooks, which often have no upgradable components. That concludes today's teardown. Wishing everyone a great day. Peace.